<laughs> yeah. Hello, everyone. Hi. <laughs> Hello, Stephanie. <laughs> I'm going to get out of your hair in a minute. Okay, so if you leave it in the corner. I'm wearing the fishing okay. for sure. I like it. I like it. Very good. And it looks like we're up and running, so we can start. Okay. Good evening. I'd like to call this regular meeting of the North Branford and Conservation and Inland Wetlands Watercourses Agency to order this meeting of Wednesday, May 25th, 2022, six, at approximately 6.33 p.m. Um, first, I'd just like to do a roll call of everyone seated here this evening. We have regular members Frank Bergano, Jerry Fishback via phone hookup, and... We also have Eric Knapp, our town planner and wetlands administrator, and I am Steve Scavell. I will be acting chairman for this evening's meeting. So next we will do the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. America, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, Liberty and justice for all. All right, we're going to move on to item three, which are minutes of the meeting from April 27th, 2022. Does anyone have any comments or revisions on that? I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of May uh, 25th, 2022. You want to second I'll that? I'll second that. Very good, sir. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Aye. Means accepted. <coughs> Actually, let me clarify, let me rephrase it. I was reading one of my old things. That's the meetings of May 25th, 2022. Right. That's what I. Sorry. Did you? Yeah. Correct. You said that. Yeah, I was going to say I, I was reading <coughs> my draft. Sorry. Um, so, for old business, I, new business, but in any event, Got two applications in front of us. The first one is 290 Forest Road. Um, you should have received plans for what we're doing here. Um, this is a new building at the uh, Public Works site on Forest Road here. Um, there is not a lot of wetlands in Pillack, but you probably want to take a site walk there just to sort of get a sense for yourself of it. Okay. Um, the Farm River is sort of in the background, but there's a berm between this site and the Farm River, and the water that would come off the back of this location is going to be redirected into an existing drainage basin. Um, Victor was not able to be here tonight, but he did want me to just indicate that he does have availability for site walks on August 1st, 3rd, and 4th, and 10th and 11th, if you're planning to do this during the week. If not, we can set up to schedule a Saturday or a Sunday if that would be better for you folks. That would be in the evening, like yeah. five or something like that? It, it, during the week, it would have to be in the evening. Yeah, 5.30 would be, 30, for me, if I don't mind, I can get out again. I, I, Perfect. I, I, don't, I don't know, because my phone's tied up. I think it'll be okay. Okay, so is there a particular day of the week that is better for you? Monday, Wednesday, Thursday? Uh, I, can third, pretty, I can pretty much do anything, you know, but... I, um, it's up to you, Frank, whatever. At this point, for, for I, August. I got, what were the dates again? Uh, first, third, fourth, tenth, eleventh. Tenth, I can't do. I can tell you that one right now. Okay. Um, first, I'm okay. Uh, third, third, I can't do, as far as I know. The tenth, I can't do. The eleventh is fine. Okay, so first, fourth, eleventh. That's next Monday, right? The first. That will be f next yeah. Monday. Which probably a little soon, or unless you want, you want to do it next. Uh, okay. Well, I guess the question is, right now it looks like it would probably just be the two of you. Two. Um, uh, I don't know when Ashley comes back. Do you want to push this off a little bit, in, 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 so that Ashley has time to get, come back, or do we, we have no idea when, how long? Well, also, it'll be. Bill, I don't know. Is he? Uh, he could be on vacation. I mean, it doesn't matter to me. I, it, I, I'm free for any of those those days. I don't. Have I think we could just, just run it. But I just have things going on in the evening that will make it tough. Okay. That's my only problem. Um, so do you want to schedule it for what, the 4th or fourth. the 4th? Why don't we try the 4th? Okay. What day is that? That'd be a Thursday. Thursday the 4th? Yes, yeah. that would be fine. At 5.30? Yep. Sure. Yep. So we just move it out from there then? Um, yeah, you're going to uh, continue this to the public hearing and then to your uh, August regular meeting, which would be... 
Uh, the 24th, I guess. So Thursday, August 4th at 5.30. And uh, hopefully Ashley will be back by then. Do you know, will, uh, uh, will the town engineer and Fran Marola be there for this? Yeah, I know specifically that Victor said he would be there because he gave me these dates. So Vic, okay. okay. I don't know if Fran will or not, but if... Um, I'm guessing Fran wants enough hours. He'll probably make himself available. If I mean, the main thing, we at least have it staked out so we know where the building is. I and mean, then we can, you know, if we have that, at least. Yeah, it, it'll be pretty obvious. Oh, okay. 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 That's fine. That's the big thing. As long as we know where it is, we can. So we need to have a motion to continue this then? M motion to continue yes. to um, August 4th for the, public, for the site walk and then for the next regular meeting on August 24th. 24th. Okay, so I make a motion. Uh, uh, that we uh, table item IWWA 2022-10, uh, 290 Forest Road until the uh, site walk of August 4th at 5.30 p.m. And then um, our next regular meeting of August 24th, 2020. Very good. Do we have a second? I'll second that. Very good. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Motion passes. We'll we'll head to the site walk on August fourth, five thirty. Okay. Next, we'll move to new business uh, item B, IWWA twenty twenty two dash eleven, one fifty nine Twin Lakes Road site plan, replace pumping system from the pond water line to existing shed, including trenching for buried water lines, and electrical power within the upland review area, receipt and determination of significant activity. Owner applicant, Yale University, John Schaefer, agent. Good evening, Stephanie, for your time. Good evening. Read the larger uh, oh. data. Oh, if you want to put Yeah, there's only two of us. If you don't mind that, you, you can, can stay start. up here if you want to, yeah. I guess, huh? I think you have to introduce yourself. Oh, yes, oh, you just introduce, introduce yourself for the record. Give your name for the record, it's all. Sorry. Yeah. <clears throat> yes, my name is John Schaefer. I'm the Associate uh, Director of Construction Projects down at Yale University. I'm here to uh, talk about the uh, 159 Twin Lakes Road um, application. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Um, so we have a, Yale has a little like a shed or a research building out on the property. Um, it was put in, you know, a handful of years ago, maybe 10, 15 years ago, um, with a uh, driveway down to the uh, pond and then a, uh, a boat ramp. Um, in the past, there's been a well line that's buried. Uh, we don't know exactly where on the property it's buried, but it goes down I think, through the woods and then down to the pond. Um, was identified as being damaged and degraded beyond repair and so what we would like to do is um, put in a new wall line and power uh, that's showing the blue line um, to kind of follow the driveway to minimize disturbance in the woods and uh, run a new power and water line down um, to the base of the hill at the um, little parking area there by the uh, the pond and then in the this spring, we'd have access to put a uh, small pump in, you know, just like a small well pump, if you will, to uh, pump water up to the shed for to support the uh, the research they'd like to do up there. This is a potable water for drinking. Then. It's not potable water for drinking, no, sir. Um, so just a little bit about the research. What they're doing is uh, they need some water, like this pond water, to support um, breeding of alewives. Um, in the shed, it, again, it's a, a Yale, you know, kind of academic kind of thing. We got students doing some, you know, breeding of the AOIs, and um, I, I don't have too much detail on the the research. I gave more if you need it, but I just curious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and um, I know that they don't put the AOIs in the pond, so that's another concern that I thought you may have. They don't. Um, they're not dumping the fish into the pond or anything. They all get uh, removed and you know disposed of. You know, you know, in our research processes we have for those kind of controls. So, um, so that's basically all I was looking for is just you know want to excavate you know a, a 12 to 18 inch wide trench, um, about 18 inches deep to get the new uh, water and the power line down to the base of the hill. Um, some other incidental improvements we want to. 
Um, the boat ramp is all overgrown and uh, deteriorated as well. Um, I'd like to get provisions to, you know, you know, re redo that boat ramp to the way the original construction was um, with the stones and whatnot. Um, we're also looking to put in uh, some pressure treated uh, guardrails, if you will, or barriers, because there's a little bit of space between the driveway and some of the guardrails and the trees that um, would enable folks to, you know, access the property around. There's a, there's a little chain link uh, rope that goes across the, the driveway now, but um, so that that's basically the extent of it. Um, I don't know if you have any questions or concerns or. Is this used in the winter time too, or just in the summer? Uh, just primarily in the summertime. Like uh, they actually were doing some research with the temporary hose uh, system. Um, they started back in uh, April or May at time frame, and uh, the research I just talked to him a little bit ago. He, he said they're actually finishing up um, this week with their uh, their research. So, you have any questions? Sorry, you're meeting. You actually asked the question I had. Now, my only thing would be: it sounds like not too invasive. It sounds like a simple project. Yeah. Digging the trench, I mean, is, I would just recommend if you do it during a period, of, you know, when it's dry, obviously, because it is kind of sloped, which did not sediment right. running into the, the pond. And with the same thing you do, your repair to the bow ramp and concrete, if, you know, if you're not, as long as you're not going to be in the lake itself, and you're going to be, I know you're going to be close, but maybe yeah. you can put up some, um, you know, erosion controls around there, especially right in the bow ramp, if you think sure. that there's any, <coughs> excuse me. But other than that, I don't, I don't have any problem. What? Quick question: uh, what, what do you think the time frame is? Uh, how long would it take to dig that trench? Uh, we'd like to do it this fall, and um, I would say it would be uh, less than a month of you know digging the trench and that kind of activity out there. Um, I, you know, probably more like two to three weeks worth of physical work to you know, have a small. It, it's like I said, it's not a very big trench. It's just going to fit. Um, you know, two power lines and a water line just, you know, down the hole. So it's just, it's you know, not very wide. Right? It it's looks not, like so. Maximum 18 inches is not really a big. Yeah, big it's probably, uh, you know, 300 feet. So it shouldn't take them, you know, if they take more than three weeks to do this, I got the wrong contractors involved. So, yeah. um. huh. okay. I, I mean, I had put in, um, we had done trenching for electrical lines for a solar system on my farm. <coughs> We did over 400 feet, and we literally had the entire trench dug, the wires laid, and refilled in two days. So, I, you know, I, I, I thought that if something like this went that quickly, um, erosion problems, et cetera, et cetera, would be minimized. But you're talking about a longer period of time. <coughs> sure. Now, I can uh, get that information uh, scheduled from a contractor, and I uh, want to come back in a month, I guess it is, for the disposition of it, uh, I can have that information for you, but it's not yeah, like we're gonna have I, I mean, typically these trenches go with mini excavators nowadays very, very quickly, and uh, you know, it just doesn't take that long to do that sort of project. Yeah, I agree, but, yeah, I agree. I, I'm not, I mean, I could probably do the work physically myself in a couple, two or three days, yeah. but with an excavator, I just, you know, I didn't wanna, oh, over, no, you know, un undercommit or overcommit to you, so. I, I understand. Yes. Yeah. We, we can't, okay. We can't approve this tonight. No, not the night you receive it. In theory, neighbors could show up with a petition demanding public hearing. All right. Um, so, do you want a site walk, or do you not need a site walk on this? I don't want a site walk. No, I, I, I don't think it's necessary either. We walked the property actually for, for some other work years ago. Yeah. Pretty so so straightforward. Yeah. Okay. Then okay. all you need to do is continue to the next meeting of August twenty fourth and deal with it then. Um, because it's a wetlands application, you're technically not allowed to approve it on the night you receive it. Okay. So the only thing it says receipt and determination of significant act, significant activity. So do we have to make a comment on that? Because yeah, if you want to say it's not a significant activity, you can decide that right well, now. I just wanted it in the public record. Are you okay with that, Frank? Yeah, Jerry, of course. Just to say, you know, in case someone asks, because if you read this, you would say, well, did they say it or? All right. So I, uh, I make a motion to, is it table? Table this to Yeah, but before this? you do, why don't you make a motion that it's not a significant Okay, I make a motion that IWWA 2022-11159 Twin Lakes Road is not determined to be a significant activity. 
And could, you want to second that, Jerry? If you feel good. yes, I'll second that. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. That motion passes. Okay. And not. then, unless Jerry wants to jump in, I'll make a motion that IWWA number 2022-11159 Twin Lakes Road be continued to our next meeting of August 24th. Uh, I'll, I'll second that. Okay. Again, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So. Very good, everything's all set, so basically we're just gonna wait for the next meeting before we can officially you know, accept it, but right now it looks you know, pretty much a go. Excellent, thank you. So yeah, any other information you would like from me or? Uh, yeah, no, Pro probably, I think if you can kind of, based on what Jerry's asking, is maybe get a better understanding of how long it's gonna sure. take. Sure, uh, yeah, I can that email that to um, Eric and he can distribute oh, yeah. it to the yeah. team. I just, so. I, I, I just thought that August would have been the best time to have done the trenching. Yeah, unfortunately, we by didn't September, get the plans in time. Yeah, by September, the rains are coming. Well, since we can't approve it tonight, it's going to have to wait. Right? Yeah, but I, well, we're going to, like I said, we have all the funding, and uh, I, I plan to issue the contract to our, uh, our contractors, so they're already lined up, and then with the anticipation of this happen, you know, being approved in, you know, four weeks from now, they can probably start, you know, a couple of days after that and oh, okay and so out maybe there, so. at, at late august early september before yeah. we get yeah, yeah. to the, the ra really rainy uh wreck times okay that's fine that's right, thank you very much for your time you're I appreciate thank the, you. support. thanks for yale being in town too you this What's that? thanks for yale being working in our town too oh uh, yeah great. you're welcome do you want to leave this with eric for for, the, for our record or do you need this back yeah you're welcome to keep that or uh i have my own copy too oh okay so you you know one of you can keep that oh, okay you that's fine right. i'm good thank you very much again thank you eric you're gonna get it back. Bye. bye thanks have a good evening Okay, and we're going to move on to item five, wetland enforcement officer's <coughs> report. Item A would be violation at 213 Forest Road. Still nothing new to report on that. The, the, as you can see, the, the pond or whatever you want to call it is eutrophying. It's pretty much just solid green at this point yeah. in time. Mm -hmm. Whatever value it had is it's turning, turning into something else by now. So yeah. I will see what I can do to That's make it better. I, I don't hold much hope, but we'll, we'll see what we can, we can do. You can okay. only do what you can do. That's fine. Um, next, before we get to the referral, what, I have a couple of administrative approvals I just want to go over with oh, you. Okay. Um, 115 Twin Lakes Road, um, not too far from the Yale Project, we had an above ground pool that was um, in the upland review area, did not seem to cause any wetlands impact. I went out and took a look, he showed me where it was going to be. It, it seemed to be of no great significance, so I approved of that one administratively. Like on a lawn kind of thing, like yeah. just basically. Okay, you know, right behind the house in the backyard. Fine. The wetlands were sort of down slope in a, in a way, it just didn't seem like yep. that big a deal. Um, also, uh, in the last month, actually today, um, 78 Clintonville Road. This is the one where um, the land trust is putting in the. Uh, <coughs> the, the, the Quarter away from the, the, the tracks, or whatever, in the wetlands and the open space up by the ice rink there. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. The Boy about. Scout project. The Boy Scout. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I remember that. Okay. Yes, yeah, so like a little. Uh, they they came in length. and said we need to put in some extra ties. I mean, we're going to put in another 50 feet, I think it is, um, up there. Yeah. It didn't seem like it needed to come back to you guys to just put in a few more of these. Since no. It was more or less the same activity, so I signed off on that one as well. But I'm now reporting back that I signed off on that one as well. Fine. Okay, that's okay. nice. Totally reasonable. Um, okay. Next on the list here is the uh, Blanford referral project. They were supposed to send this to me in an electronic format I could use. They didn't, so I'm going to sort of show this to you now. Oh, okay. uh, sorry, Jerry, you can't see it, but I'll just try it as best I can. Okay. Um, if you go down uh, Nonbrook to the traffic circle intersection of Route 1 and 22. Across the street, there's the deteriorated house, whatever that is, the chimney you see there. Mm -hmm. On that site and to the right of it, coming down from North Branford, they're putting up an industrial building. Oh, great. Research building. Oh. Okay? Oh, research building. Um, it is within 500 feet of North Branford, obviously, um, so they had to refer it to us. Um, it does not appear to have any impact on 
North Brainford wetlands does have an impact on Brainford wetlands, but per statute, they are asking us whether we have any comments about the activity. Um, and again, it seemed a large enough project. I wanted to show you what they're doing. Sure. And, and we always try to cooperate with the accounts of courtesy so we don't surprise, but honestly, as their wetland commission is more than capable, I'm sure, of dealing with the wetlands on their side, so I have no problem with it. Okay, that's fine. I just, what do you I think? Yeah, I don't, have any, I don't have any problems with it at all. Okay. Can, can I, I have a question. I mean, I, I don't have a visual at my end. Can you describe to me once again uh, exactly where this building is? That so there's so you, know where the, you know where the rotary is? Yep, the new rotary. It's directly, so when you're coming down, it's 139, right? Yeah. So when you're coming down 139, you hit the rotary, so as you go around Wait, the rotary, I thought, I thought on the, uh, directly, talking, I'm sorry. Hold, uh, hold on, hold on, Frank. You're talking 139 or 22? This is okay. where the rotary is. This is where the rotary is. On Route 80. 139 North, it's not, I'm oh, sorry. Notch, Notch Hill, Hill Road. Road. I'm sorry. Notch Hill Not, Road. Notch Hill Road is Route 22. Route 22. All right. So this I always There's get the that new right. rotary over by Bill Miller's. Correct? I don't know who Bill Miller is, so that doesn't uh, the help. Castle. Yes, it's the castle. Yes. The castle. Yeah. The rotary by the castle. So, so right. it's directly yep. across the street. Okay. Across the street from the, the castle is vacant land. land. Okay. They are going to be putting a fairly sizable um, research uh, R&D building on that parcel there. Wait, there are wetlands on that parcel. But because okay. that is within 500 feet of North Brainsford, they are obligated to bring it to our wetlands commission for the we have. Okay. I, I have no problem with that. Yeah. Okay, I'll just refer, I'll let them know that my wetlands commission has no problem with that. Yep. Okay? We're fine. You know, we, we Perfect. got out of courtesy to, to, to do that, so that's good. Okay. Very good. I always get 139 and 22 mixed up. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> well, the, the, on your mail maps, 139 is shown as 169, so I can tell them to fix it for this next year. So, okay. 169 is in the eastern part of the state, running yeah. north south. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is go into executive session. If you want to turn off the tape. Do we need a motion for that? You're going to make a motion to go into executive session. All right. Like so Frank? I make a motion to go into executive session. Do we have a second, Jerry? I'll second that. Very good. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, motion passes. We are now in executive session. We have the term.